Happy birthday, Robert Downey Jr. 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 Happy birthday, buddy. I don't know what the accent was, but um, I just felt like it was deserved. Accent as Americans. Um, happy birthday, man. I love you like a brother. And uh, sending you lots of love from here. Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, hope you're doing well out there. Um, if you find yourself in a situation like myself, like a lot of people, where you're having to homeschool your kids and you're failing miserably, because uh, yeah, it's, it's not an easy task. It's a very, very difficult job teaching, and I have a, a boundless, unlimited respect for teachers globally, global, globally universally, uh, and I thank them for that. If you are having this, this, this trouble, a friend of mine suggested doing these guided meditations with them, and I thought, that's not going to work. My kids are allergic to sitting still, but to my surprise, it actually did. And uh, it calmed them down, you know, because the kids, they're feeling anxiety and stress and all of that like us, and probably more so because they don't understand it even, and it's difficult for us to explain it to them. But uh, uh, I, these guided meditations that my friend suggested doing actually was really beneficial. And so what we're doing with Center.com is I'm going to, narrate a few meditations, children specific meditations, sleep visualizations, positive thoughts, that kind of thing. Uh, and, and you may get something from it. Taika Waititi, director of Thor Ragnarok, uh, Jojo Rabbit, many other wonderful films, uh, is also gonna narrate a few. And uh, yeah, so, so uh, jump on board to center.com. We have six weeks free available until April 5th. Um, so yeah, get involved, hope you enjoy it, hope you get something from it, hope you're well, happy and safe, lots of love. J'ai touché le fond de la piscine Dans le petit pull marine Tout déchiré au coude J'ai pas voulu recoudre Que tu m'avais donné Je me sens tellement abandonnée y a pas qu'au fond de la piscine Que mes yeux sont bleu marine Tu les avais repérés Sans qu'il y ait un regard Et t'avais rappliqué Maintenant je paie les faits retard Avant de toucher le fond, je descends à reculons, sans trop savoir ce qui se passait dans le fond. C'est plein de chlore au fond de la piscine, j'ai bu la tasse chin chin, comme c'est pour toi je m'en fous, je suis vraiment prête à tout, t'as valé que m'importe, si l'on me trouve à moitié morte. <rire> How y'all doing today? You doing good shit, balls, fuck, piss, shit. Hey guys, uh, as you can guess, I am back in Brooklyn. I've been back for about a week now. And being home um, just has really reminded me of all these great little mom and pop restaurants that I used to go to when we were allowed to. Um, and the staff that work there, they're, they're friends of mine. I mean, we know each other by name at a lot of these places. And uh, I wanted to do my part in my community to help raise money for these people. And that's why I'm working with Roar New York. Uh, but if you want to help out in your community, you can check out my caption below where I've actually tagged the National Restaurant Association. And their site uh, will provide you with information about how you can get active in your community and help out small businesses in need. So check them out. Hey, guys. Uh, it's Josh. Um with another episode of From the Inside. Um, again, during this quarantine, I know we're dealing with a lot of issues. And one of the biggest issues is uh, toilet paper. So I think it's important to get into how to conserve toilet paper. Um, so what I've done is I've tried the last few days is to experiment a little bit. And what I think that I've pulled off is it's possible if you just take off a corner of what you have left instead of wrapping, you know, twice around your hand to wipe. And what I have here, let me say, 
some poop left over from the other day. And what I thought I could do is maybe just do that. So that would be the anus. And then just kind of cover it with the poop that I have left. Um, like that, such as. And, and I'll show you, it is real poop. It's not like Nutella or something. And then I pick this up, just the corner, and you'll see if I just spit on a little bit. And then, which would be like in Europe or, and then you can just, if you, if you, if you cover the toilet paper or that portion of the toilet paper totally with your finger, you can utilize, oh shoot, you can utilize <laughs> most of the toilet paper. And just downstroke like that, downstroke like that. <laughs> it's mostly clean. It's mostly clean, I think. And either you can pucker for a long time and just contract to hide it. Or <laughs> you can throw some water on it. <laughs> Maybe that will help, as you can see. <laughs> Oh man, utilized most of the <laughs> toilet paper. And then you can go to a sink and wash your hands or use a paper towel that you wasted on a joke, which really isn't a joke. But anyway, I'm serious. I have tried this in the last couple of days. And as you can see, the bottom part is not wiping at all or running out of toilet paper. The top part is what you'll be left with if you utilize my technique. Okay, hope everybody's well. So, as you all know, it is pretty much impossible to find any masks these days in anywhere, any store. So my mom showed me this really cool thing on Colin Hanks' Instagram, who is Tom Hanks' son, of how to make a kerchief or a handkerchief into a fully usable mask. So, I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys. So, what you do is you take your mask, I mean your, it will soon be a mask, and you fold one side over, and then you hold, fold the other side over, and then you flip this over, and then you take one side and fold it in, fold it in, so it sort of looks like this, or also one of those dehydrated crepes. So then you take two hair ties, and you take one and put it on this side. You can adjust this depending on how big your face is. In my case, my face is very small. So then you open these flaps, and you take this flap and fold it in there, and you take this flap and fold it on top of that, and then you can adjust this as needed, but then you have a fully functional, fashionable mask, <laughs> which in my case also covers my eyes. Ta-da! Is it gonna stay? I think it's gonna stay. Hello! Lovely to see you all. Um, I'm hungry and uh, I wanted to make a salad and I hadn't done a salad before so I thought I may as well film this one. It's pretty hot today and I don't fancy anything warm. Also, I need to keep on using this, this food otherwise uh, it's gonna go to waste. So I've got my cherry tomatoes, carrot, garlic for some mushrooms um, and we're gonna use some of our canned products chickpeas, tuna again, sweet corn. Um, how are all of you doing is my first question. Number two, are you cooking? Number three, excuse my spot stickers. Pretend they're not there. Shall we get going? Let's get going. All right, we're first gonna start with our garlic because I want those um, mushrooms to be in the pan whilst we chop up all of the rest of our veg. 
So we're just gonna get a clove of garlic. As I said, if you don't like garlic, don't use garlic. If you love garlic, get that garlic in the pan. Um, we're just gonna, I wouldn't say crazy finely. I just, I just wanna get some garlic going. Don't turn off screen, ha <laughs> ha. Um, so yeah, how's my week been? My week has been um, interesting. I've been eating a lot. Uh, I've been cooking a lot. Uh, we fostered a puppy. She is so much fun and I'm training her to sit and to wait. Um, so yeah, as eventful as you can imagine. So I just chopped these. I'm gonna pop all of that in the pan with a drizzle of oil. What, baby? What? Did you eat some garlic and didn't like it? Okay, that's gonna go on. Um, and then we're going to start chopping our tomatoes. Yeah, um, it's a funny thing. Every time I, I get through the week and get to Monday, I go, okay, we're on to the, the next week. And then I get to Monday and I go, oh, Okay, uh, new motivation, and it's really hard to, to find motivation during all of this. And I've, I've stopped bullying myself, and you know, the first week I remember going, uh, you know, like I, I, sh I should be writing, I should be getting all these projects done that I've never done, and um, really guilt tripping my, myself if I didn't. Um, and I guess that's the problem, is that it's it's once again... Sorry, as I was saying, um, we had a, a puppy wanting some attention. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's that funny thing of relationship uh, between brain and body and um, I suppose respecting both sides and one of that is making sure you're putting good stuff in your system, uh, giving your brain stuff to think with, giving your body stuff to move with, uh, making sure you get all of those endorphins going and I think that's probably the one thing that certainly helped me from going a bit stir crazy. Uh, if anybody has any tips that they want to share with me, please send them along. So I've chopped all of that, I found a bowl. And um, I'm gonna put those in that bowl. Uh, the most, well, I'd say I really like making a salad in a big bowl so that you can really like get your hands in there and move it all about. Uh, next, we're going to uh, do this, but I'm gonna stop the video because it's gonna run out. Next, we're gonna peel all of this. Now, I am taking the skin off because this is something that I like to do. I do a bit of this. I love, I think, I don't know what they call, are they called carrot ribbons? I love carrot ribbons in a salad. Um, it really nicely makes up all of that. If you don't have leaves, it's a really nice way to kind of make up all of that mass. And it's uh, really good, really crunchy, and with a bit of dressing on it, delicious. So I'm just gonna do all of that, and then next I'm gonna start opening up my can. Um, open your cans. Come on, love. Now, um, I'm just gonna put those chickpeas straight in here. I've given them a little wash. I know some of you don't like to, but I do, so I'm doing it. Um, and then I'd say I'm gonna do, should we do, like three spoonfuls that was. I'll show you my bowl. Oh, I love sweet corn. It reminds me of being a kid. God, I'd have sweet corn in everything. I'd have sweet corn with cottage cheese. All right, I just found uh, the last bit of a red onion. I'm gonna chop that up. I'm gonna do it in slices like this. And then I'm just gonna sprinkle that. We're gonna mix it all up in the end anyway. Don't you worry. Um, I want mine quite spicy, I think. Uh, so I'm going to get my olive oil. Drizzle it in the bowl. A bit of salt, a bit of pepper. Bit of pepper. And then, I might add some chili, just because I fancy it. So I found a little nubbin of chili that um, is gonna go in this salad. And 
then uh, we're going to plate up. The mushrooms are done, they're just nicely browned with the garlic. And then pop the mushrooms on top and eat away. Here, that's going in. No, don't go screen. Ah, there we go. Stir it up. And then we're nearly ready to plate up. Okay, so we're just gonna plate up. Um, grab all of that, all of those lovely carrot ribbons. Look at that, yummy. I'm gonna use a bit of some spicy sauce as I told you earlier. You can use Tabasco, Sriracha. I'm using this tasty stuff. And then I'm doing some balsamic. Not too much, because this one's quite sweet. And then grab your mushies. And you're just gonna put them on top. Yum! Look at all those colors. Oh, yes. Crunchy food, nutritious food, get it in your system and I promise you, you'll feel so much better. Um, I'm gonna start eating if you don't mind. Have a wonderful Friday, everyone. I'll see you Monday for more cooking. Don't worry, he didn't have any garlic. He's attacked a Kong a few times, but that's about it. Didn't ya? Yeah. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, this is Matt Damon. Um, so a few years ago, a bunch of us did this movie called Contagion, which we've noticed is creeping its way back up on the charts uh, on iTunes uh, for obvious reasons, given what we're all living through right now. Um, and so the Mailman School of Public Health at Columbia University reached out to the cast and asked us if we would uh, have a virtual reunion to do some PSAs for everybody that, that might be helpful. And so we readily agreed, and so uh, here they are. Um, so everything you're gonna hear from us has been vetted by public health experts and, uh, and scientists. Um, so I'm here to talk to you about social distancing, something we've been hearing a lot about on TV, I think, the last couple of weeks. Um, in the movie, I played a guy who was immune to the uh, hypothetical virus that was spreading around the world. And so a few things to start. Uh, one, um, that was a movie, this is real life. I have no reason to believe that I'm immune to COVID-19 uh, and neither do you, uh, no matter how young you are. This is a new virus. It's gonna take some time for our bodies and our doctors to understand it and to understand the best way to protect us. So new viruses emerge all the time. Uh, this isn't the first and it won't be the last. So the good news is we have seen things like this before and we emerge stronger as a result. And in time, we're gonna win against this one as well. How much time? That is an excellent question. Nobody knows for sure, but we do know how to make that day get here quicker. And that's what I'm here to talk to you about, social distancing. It means stay six feet away from another person. It means not gathering in groups, and it means staying home or sheltering in place if that's what government officials are telling you to do. People can have COVID-19 and have very mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. Uh, so even if you think that they're healthy or you think that you're healthy, don't take that chance. It is not worth it. Every time that you pass this virus to someone else, you are actually giving it to three or four other people as well, and then those people are gonna do the same. So before long, that one person turns into hundreds, turns into thousands, and that's how we got into this situation in the first place. Now, if you are young and healthy, you might think that this is no big deal because you've heard that this virus is nothing more than a bad cold for you. And that is not true, spring breakers, okay? Almost 40% of the people hospitalized in this pandemic are under 55. And if you uh, know anybody over the age of 55 or anyone who has any kind of pre-existing conditions, this is a lot more serious for them. So you can literally save their life just by staying away from each other. You can actually sit on the couch or in a chair like I'm doing and watch TV and save a life at the same time. You can work from home, you can use social media to communicate, you can save a few more. Uh, now is the time to spend all the time you want staring at your phone or your tablet. And if anybody gives you a hard time about it, tell them not to bother you because you are saving lives. Just make sure that you tell them that from six feet away. We can all do this together just by staying apart. Please do your part 
Other generations have been asked to do extraordinary things. We're being asked to just stay at home. We got this. Please let's respect and protect our elders. Thanks, everybody.